Alright, on to part three. <laughs> oh, here I'm... Instead of storing the life just at the start of the battle program, I'm storing it inside the main program with the story, because then you can store different lives, life values before each battle. So, like, this one, they have 1,090 life. <laughs> I'm storing two into theta for the battle number. So that's the second battle. And then again I'm gonna test if you lost and then display something. So and then stop the game. If I had continues in the game then here's where I'd test if you want to continue and things like that so so after the end that's everything that happened or everything up to the end is what happens when you lose and then it ends the game and then after that you just put in whatever you want to happen when you win so I deleted storing the life from the battle program because I'm storing it in the main program now and here's where I'm adding in a new attack set so for the second battle you're gonna have a third attack so I'm adding it. the first two will be the same just so I'm just typing that again And then you'll have a third attack called let's see, Rage Power. <laughs> All right. It's going to be a special attack because you can only use it once. So I'm going to put that in. And to test if it's been used, I'm going to store a variable called Z. And if that variable is 1, then that means the attack's already been used. And you can't use it again, so... So if you already used it, it'll display that you can't use it again. And then it'll go back to your attack selection. <laughs> Now I have to make sure to add in zero store to Z at the very start of the battle program, so because at the start of every battle you haven't used the attack yet. So make sure to reset that. And now I, I'm adding in a separate attack set for the enemy in the second battle. This enemy is gonna have two different attacks, and they'll be chosen at random. The first attack will be the first attack will be a normal attack <laughs> but and let's see. looks like it'll have three outcomes the third being a critical hit. Oh, here's why. Here I'm just showing off a different damage formula. So, like, say you want to. What it has here will hurt 12, 16, 20, 24, or 28. A random one of those with equal probability. And then, if it's not a critical hit, it'll just hit. So, it's a guaranteed hit, I guess. But, and then that normal hit will hurt 10 plus 2 times the random amount from negative 3 to 3. So, it'll basically hurt 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, or 16. Right. Now for the second attack, let's see. 
and since every since both of the enemy attacks are going to start with the enemy uses, I'm going to move that out. And then, actually, since every attack that the enemy uses is going to start with that, I'm going to put that at the very top of the program. And then I'll just delete it from the other parts. So. Alright, so this is going to be not POS. <laughs> Poison Strike. And it'll have two outcomes. One will be just a miss, probably. Uh, I guess B equal to one will be poisoned. And you know, I have good grammar, so I threw in an apostrophe. <laughs> and I'm going to store that in a variable called S. And so, so the attack won't hurt, but I'll store three into the variable s. And since but neither outcomes will hurt, I'm moving the zero damage out, so it automatically gets set. And Oh, there, I realized <laughs> there's no apostrophe. <laughs> yep. I have to make sure I have all the ends at the end. <laughs> yeah. And again, since there's another variable that does your I have to make sure it's set at the start of every battle. So I'm gonna put in I'm gonna start out with zero. And S will just be the number of turns you're poisoned for. So here I'm at I have to add in what happens if you're poisoned. So basically if S is not zero that means you're poisoned. So I'm testing for that. And I'm going to make it go down every turn. So <laughs> if you're poisoned for three turns, it'll only last for three turns. <laughs> and it'll hurt a random amount from five to eight every time. So, so I'm going to display something that tells you while you're getting hurt. And subtract off that damage. And that should be good for the poison effect. So. Oh. Uh, I didn't want the enemy to keep trying to poison you when you're already poisoned, so I'm just so I just added in a test that says if you're poisoned then they'll use the normal attack. So and I you'll see in the main program, but I also added in or I changed the first enemy's life to just one just so that I can win easily. <laughs> and test the second battle. Alright, so I got poisoned and it seems to take off the damage correctly. So.